Number 19, a trig expression is shown. Which is the simplified form of this expression? Oh, oh no, I lost my deal. What type of problem is this one now? Analytical trig. Analytical trig. That's right. Now on analytical trig, this is the one that I say you a lot of times need to know some information. This is one that you don't actually need to know information. How could we get this correct? Just graph it. I, which way y'all want to graph? Desmos. Okay, go open up your Desmos then. I'm going to do it by Desmos. Wait, when you said just graph it, how do we know which one's the correct answer? The one that's sharing, sharing graphs. Okay. Uh, you don't have to have a polar grid. You can. You don't have to. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to go back to a normal grid. It doesn't matter what you have. Uh, the first equation they give us is 1 minus sine x. Oh, I need to make sure. On the test, you won't have to worry about this. It will automatically reset. I'm going to go back to radians. You always graph in radians, always. Parametrics are the only... Uh... Oh, I don't want to do it this way. In case you're using Inspire. What do you do with the power? Do you remember? Put it after the variable. And uh, the, if you use the trig functions over here, I should have done this. Let me start over. I'm going to retype it in. What I would recommend you do is whenever you go to type in the trig, don't actually type in S I N X. Just hit this functions and it's right at the top. Do it like that because that will help the calculator with the parentheses on the variable. I should have done it to start. So there's my first parenthesis. Got it in. Second, one plus. Again, for sign, I'm going to hit the functions and then type it in. And then last parentheses, functions, tangent, x. Now, what do we say to put the power? The height. Now, Desmos will do it just fine if it's a squared. But just to be safe, just memorize it. Put it after the parentheses right there, after the parentheses. OK, so there's our value we're looking at. Now, would that be the graph of 1? No. How do I know it's not 1? Because that would be a flat line. I'll type in y equals 1. No, so that's not right. It's not one. So let's keep trying the other ones. Uh, if you know which ones are waves, it'll be a head start. So I'm going to try answer choice B. Would it be tangent squared X? Tangent X squared. Is that it? No. So let's now try. So we know it's not A. It's not B. Let's try sine. Would it be sine squared? Yeah, it's sine squared. There you go. It's sine squared. So just remember to put the powers after. If it's a square, Desmos will handle it in a normal spot. My Inspire will not. The Inspire only works with the powers after the parentheses, just so you know. Okay. This was correct 68% of the time. 68% of students got this one correct. 